So just allowing for the eyes to just gently close if that feels okay for you. And if not, you can just keep your eyes open as well. So whatever works. If you do decide to keep your eyes open, just remembering to lower your gaze, just relaxing the gaze could be helpful. So just allowing for this time to be a time that you have chosen to take care of yourself, to notice what is most prominent for you right now. So maybe taking in a deep breath and then long, long exhale. Filling up that belly with air, oxygenating the body. And on a long exhale, just letting go of any tension or tightness that might still be here from the moment before, from the next moment. You can just try your best to just be present. So remembering that the entire time that we're here, we're practicing. And just noticing the breath in the body. Allowing the body to settle. Noticing the back of the body and how it is in contact with maybe the chair, the seat, the cushion. And letting this body just very safely and fully supported kind of sink into the surface that's holding you right now. Allowing the earth to embrace you here allowing gravity to do what it does, keeping us in place. And so allowing for the mind to settle into the breath the breath to settle into the body. Welcoming yourself in this moment. Welcoming everybody here. As we practice together, we kind of unite in this sentiment of life, of embracing the moment, coming together as one, regardless of wherever we are in the world. supporting one another in this community. And so let's start out with a quick check-in, noticing what's in the mind. What's in the heart. and what's in the body. And if you're going through a stormy time right now, a time when the thoughts just keep coming and coming, or maybe there's strong emotions, 
or even sensations in the body that kind of are taking your attention. Whatever it is, just allowing it to be there, but maybe just kind of shifting into the background and bringing your full attention to your breathing. And there is no need to change the breath. There is no need to modify the breath or control it or manipulate it in any way. However the body is breathing, it's okay. And it's perfect. So what we're doing is tuning in to how the body is breathing, maybe fast, maybe slow. Maybe it's deep, deep breaths, maybe it's shallow breathing. And just allowing for this breath to take its place, to do its thing. And if anything, all we're doing is noticing the body breathe. And maybe there's a story playing in the background. The mind loves telling stories, as we said. So just acknowledging that, noticing that that's just a story. And whenever you're ready, just bringing your attention really gently to your breath. Noticing the way the body's breathing. Maybe following the rising of the body on the in-breath and the falling on the out-breath. And whenever you notice restlessness, discomfort, whatever it is that gets on the way of this moment, that's okay. There's no need to resist it or make it go away. Just embrace it. Just know that it's here. Maybe there's a lot of thoughts, images, movie clips kind of playing in the mind. That's okay. Just kind of attend to it as a commentary. You know, it's kind of, you're watching the game, but there's a commentary in the background. And from time to time, we can tune it out, come back to the breath, focusing your attention on the breath. That will be like focusing your attention on the game. So just bringing your attention right back over and over again. And every time you notice this, this is a mindful moment. 
There's no right or wrong way of doing this. You're doing it perfectly. You're here. And whenever you're ready, just opening up to any sensations in the body, so any tightness or tension, even relaxation, tingling or numbness, coolness, heat, maybe the contact of the clothing with the skin, feet on the ground. Noticing how the mind tends to look for the spectacular, the sensation. No, we're just looking into any, any subtle sensations. There's no need to look for anything else or even look for anything at all. Allowing whatever is here to just be here, noticing it. And maybe there's nothing, noticing that nothingness too, the absence of sensation. Embracing the full sensory experience of the body. And now opening up your attention to include sounds. Maybe the sounds in the room, your own sounds, the sound of the breath, the sounds the body makes, the sounds out on the streets. And instead of attending to what the sound might be, really fully being engaged in the sound as if it was the very first time you ever heard it. 
noticing the pitch, noticing the volume, the rhythm of the sound, or even the absence of sound, silence. Even silence kind of have a sound of itself in some way. So noticing that. And now attending, paying attention to any thoughts that might be here. And instead of getting carried away in the thought or following the thought or the story, just noticing the thought, noticing that every thought has a beginning, a middle and an end, paying attention how the next thought comes in and maybe even noticing how when I say paying attention to thoughts, Sometimes all thoughts kind of just dissipate. They kind of just go away and it seems like there is no thoughts. And then there's a thought of there's no thoughts and that's a thought itself. Also, maybe the moment we pay attention to them, they kind of just fade. So bringing your full attention to the thinking mind, images, little movie clips that he plays, words. Noticing where it goes, noticing what these thoughts are about without entertaining, entertaining them.
And then whenever you're ready, shifting your attention to notice all emotions that might be here. Maybe just one emotion that might be here, maybe many. And so really noticing what is the emotional state right now? Paying attention to emotion, maybe joy, maybe happiness, maybe sadness or fear or whatever it is, just paying attention to it, noticing it, acknowledging that that's what's present at this moment and that's okay. And now noticing where this emotion is felt the most in the body. Where do you feel it the most? Is it in the head, chest, abdomen? Where is this emotion felt? Maybe all over? So just noticing where it is. And if at any moment this emotion becomes too overwhelming or too much for this moment, just shifting your attention and coming back to the breath. It's absolutely all right. Always taking care of yourself and then come back and join us whenever you're ready. You might notice that the mind tends to distract away sometimes from emotions. If you notice that, you're just really gently bringing your attention right back to the emotion, if that feels all right for you at this moment. And then noticing if it still feels the same, has it changed? Perhaps just acknowledging that it will change could be helpful. Nothing stays the same knowing that changes are only constant. And then whenever you're ready, just taking in a deep in-breath. So inhaling deep, 
And I'm making your exhale longer than the inhale. So long, long exhale. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale. Long exhale. And then whenever you're ready, just allowing the body to breathe normally without any help, without controlling or changing the breath, but just allowing it to breathe at its own pace right now. So shifting your attention now to just the breath, engaging fully in the breath right now. And now opening up to the full experience once again, embracing everything in this moment, embracing the physical sensations in the body, feeling the body, maybe the feet on the ground, the body sitting here, embracing sounds at the same time, hearing all sounds that are here right now, noticing the thoughts that come to mind, and the emotions and just noticing it all, allowing it all to rest in this vast awareness. All of it, all of experience right here in this moment. Fully open to receiving it all right now. Knowing that awareness is vast. And you might find that you might be getting carried away by one or the other, maybe thoughts, maybe sounds, or maybe there's a lingering physical sensation here that's taking all your attention. And seeing if what else is there, seeing if you can just hold it all in this moment. Opening up to the moment, to whatever it brings, full experience. what's felt in the body, what's heard through the ears, what's thought in the mind, what's felt in the heart, all of it right here in this moment.
And then whenever you're ready, just coming back to just the breath. So maybe taking in a deep breath to find your breathing, exhaling long, and just focusing on the breath, the body breathing here. So I'm going to read a, a poem by Juan Ramon Jimenez. He's a Spanish poet and a writer who received the Nobel Prize in 1956 for his poems. So the poems that I'm going to read today illustrate in a lot of ways this practice that we just did today, open awareness, holding it all in awareness. In one of his poems, Oceans, he says, I have a feeling that my boat has struck and down there in the very depths against a great thing and nothing, nothing happens, nothing, just silence, waves. Nothing happens or has everything happened, he says. And are we standing now? quietly in the new life. I have a feeling that my boat has struck down there in the depths against a great thing and nothing happens, nothing. Silence, waves, nothing happens or has everything happened? And we're standing now quietly in the new life. So as we practice coming back to the breath, we can kind of relate to this nothingness, the stillness. This stillness that's available to all of us, this stillness that we can always tap into right underneath it all. And then he also has another poem which embraces more than just a stillness now as we open up to everything. And in this, this poem is called The Birds from I Know Where. And he says, all night long, the birds have been singing their colors to me. Not the colors of their morning wings with their freshness of the suns, not the colors of their vesper breasts in the embers of the suns, not the colors of their everyday beaks that lose their light at night. As fade the known colors of the leaves and of the flowers. Other colors, he says, the colors of the primal paradise, the colors that men so completely lost. Paradise that fought paradise that the flowers and the birds know so well. Flowers and birds that come and go, wafting scents, flying through the whole wide world. Other colors. Other colors of that, cha of that changeless paradise. The changeless paradise that man in dreams wanders through. All night long, the birds have been singing their colors to me. Other colors, which they have in their other world and which they bring out at night. Colors that I have seen wide awake and which are I know well where. I know whence the birds have come to sing to me through the night. I know when's passing through the winds and the waves to sing my colors to me. And so in these two poems, in one he's talking about that stillness, you know, this place where his boat just stopped. 
and it just seems it's called oceans and it seems that there's nothing happening. And then he wonders, nothing happening or everything happening, right? And then on this other one, he talks about the birds singing and we can talk about that in the meditation, right? In the meditation, we're opening up to everything, the sound. And then as he talks about the birds singing, we can even relate to sound and then the thoughts that come with that and the emotions of that trigger and the sounds within the singing, the sounds within ourselves as well, that are this inner paradise, he says, and the external paradise as well that we have forgotten. So in both ways, in some way, my take is that in relation to our meditation today, to our practice today, is that we can be in both worlds. We can have this awareness that embraces all of it, the full experience, the sounds, the thoughts, the emotions, the physical sensations in the body, everything resting in this vast, vast awareness. And then we can narrow down and come back to just the breath. Underneath it all, there's that stillness. And maybe everything is happening, right? And that's what the invitation is. And maybe everything is happening in the surface. But underneath in this stillness, we can find this quiet, this calm, right? So every time we open up to experience, we embrace it. What's happening right now? What's all of it? And awareness can hold it all, right? It is when we get caught in one of those, in one of the parts of experience that we start either wanting it to be a certain way, if it's pleasant, or maybe resisting it if it's not. You know, it could even be sound. Ah, oh, don't like that sound, make it go away, right? It could be a physical sensation that's unpleasant. I don't want it. But if I'm deeply relaxed and feeling great and there's joy in this moment, I want more of that, right? So there's everything happening and at the same time, there's nothing happening. And we can embrace both of them in this awareness, the awareness of the breath in which holds everything and the awareness of the full experience that holds everything too. All the emotions, all the change, and the mind going from one to the other, from one to the other, and really just noticing this full, full unfolding of the moment, right? And it is an awareness that we can hold it all because it is not gonna be a thing of the mind, right? We're just noticing all in front of us. So whenever you're maybe in your next moment, just bringing attention to that, bringing attention, opening up to how the body feels. What are the sounds that I hear? What are the thoughts that are coming to mind? What, are, what is the emotion felt right now in the body? So that's the invitation the invitation to just hold it all in awareness and always knowing that there is the breath that we can always dive in and watch it all happen as well. And that's really the point with awareness. Awareness is always holding it all without really this identification of I like, I don't like, the non-judging mind again, right? And so I think maybe for this week, until I see you again on Friday, that will be a practice to have, to practice just opening up to the full experience, knowing that you can hold it all in this awareness. And then also knowing that there's always the breath, that we can dive right under it as well. We can either swim on the surface of the ocean and embrace it all and ride the waves, and we can also come right underneath and that stillness and watch it all happen. 
So we have this incredible capacity to do both. Only when we tap into this awareness, only when we see it happening without identifying with it, without saying this is happening to me, I like, I don't like, opinions, perception, right? We put all that aside and it's just what's happening. So I wanna thank you for your formal practice in this moment, for sitting in your kind attention. Thank every one of you that's here right now. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for being here. And so now we're gonna transition into our informal